你好，我叫阿瑞，我学习汉语。今天怎么样 ？Hey, <laughs> sorry guys, that was a bit weird. But yeah, so as the title suggests, I am learning Mandarin. Woo! So I've actually been、um, taking this course. It was it's over in Eurasia, which is、um, on the opposite side of the Auckland domain. And basically, it's it's pretty affordable for the price and all that. And it's basically like a、um, 10 week course.、Um, it teaches you. Well, the one I did, anyways, was a package course. So it was literally、um, Mandarin level one and level two. And I'm planning on doing Mandarin level three and four and above. You know, in the following days. So this is my certificate of completion for Mandarin two. That's my teacher. Wu Lao Shi. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, today I just want to talk about the importance of actually learning another language, or at least improving upon English. For example, if English is this your second language or the language that you want to learn. Now, obviously, you know a lot of people are going to say, "Eh, buat apa do belajar bahasa Inggris? Buat apa do belajar bahasa lain? Bukan yang macam pakai pun." Um, honestly, it's not just a matter of Using the language or not, it's a matter of actually knowing, like personally, or you know, at least other people know that you know you can speak another language if you need to or if you're required to, or you know, it's just good to have, you know, because, like, frankly speaking, from an employer's perspective, I'm pretty sure a lot of employers are going to be like, oh wow, he knows another language, it's top marks, you know, at least he's taking the incentive of improving oneself. Now I know that a lot of you may or may not heard of this thing called lifelong learning, which is basically a concept that emphasizes that you are a student for the rest of your life, not just when you're doing your degree or when you're finishing high school or anything like that, because you do learn every day. You know, every day you learn something new. Hence, why it's called lifelong learning. Now, in terms of that as well, you know, besides just being able to learn and speak another language, or even Speaking another language fluently, you know the other benefits to actually learning a language is that you would definitely be able to meet more people. You'd definitely be able to improve your circles and improve your networking skills, and you know just overall have a good time because you know it's it's a language. It's something that if you learn, you know for a fact that you will be able to practice it even at home or even through the internet or anything like that, and you will. Be better off, and you will come off as a different and a better person once you finally finished the course, or you know, once you've actually、um, mastered the language that you are learning or the language that you are currently improving upon. In day-to-day -day life, for example, even if you meet someone else, when you know. Another language, it actually improves your thinking skills because you would be able to more critically understand and perceive the world in different perspectives. Like just knowing how another language's grammar and how the language's sentences are structured will be able to give you a clearer understanding of how the world actually works. Because unfortunately, no, it does not revolve in within just one language. Not everyone knows. You know the same language, and everyone communicates, and everyone interprets, and everyone speaks differently. You know that's just life. So definitely improve upon the language that you have, or improve, pick up another language because it will help you out in the long run. So I'm not exactly sure if it actually helped or anything in my case here in New Zealand, but you know definitely if you have another language that are listed in your resume, it will, it will help. You know, it's it's just one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, that guy knows another language. Oh yeah, let's hire him. Why not? Because you never know what's going to happen. So definitely, if you do want to improve your chances at life, and if you do want to improve upon your, you know, quality of life, I do strongly suggest learning another language. So if you guys had any questions, or if you want to know how much it costs, or、um, you know what, how to actually practice and learn another language, go ahead and post a comment down below. I'll read them and I'll definitely be able to help. Or if anything else, stay tuned and、um, just watch me grow and improve upon my language, on my Mandarin speaking prowess. You know, I think Han Yu is very good. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, the the vocabulary isn't there, but the sentence structure is. So okay, I know it may have come off wrong. I'm sorry. 
but please teach me. I am willing to learn. Okay, touch it half. Um, wait, no. One and no. Goodbye. Zai Jian. See you guys in the next video.